it's my life as a... Wait a minute. Where's the book? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Take two. It's my life as a YouTube. Got the light. Ooh, okay. All right. It's my life as a YouTuber. My life as a YouTuber was written by Janet Tajan and illustrated by Jake Tajan. It was published by Squarefish in 2018. It is about 12-year-old Derek Fallon, who lives in Los Angeles with his mum and dad, his dog Bodie, and his monkey Frank. Derek struggles with reading and therefore finds secondary school difficult. One day he signs up for an elective course about making videos for YouTube, and soon he is competing against his best friends Carly and Umberto for the top grade in the class. Can Derek make a success of his YouTube channel without hurting the people and animals he loves? Read My Life as a YouTuber to find out. I quite liked this book. The story is feels realistic and uh, the characters are quite relatable. It's written quite simply and clearly, uh, unlike Timmy Failure, which I felt was trying to sound you know very complicated to try and be funny but actually that just made it a difficult book to read this one the language is nice and clear and you know easy to read um, it also has the explanations of the words um, at the side of each page kind of in the margin um, and actually these are pretty good pictures they they make me laugh when I look at them because I think, yeah, that is a very good way to describe uh, that word. While I like the little explanations at the side, and I quite like the fact that the main character says he uh, has some difficulty with reading. While I like the idea of the illustrations, I feel a bit like it misses having actual illustrations of the characters. Like, I don't actually know what Derek looks like, or Umberto, or any of his friends. And that's kind of weird. Um, there's, as far as I can tell, there are no pictures of any of the characters in the book, just the stick figures to illustrate the meaning of some of the words. My only other little criticism is that sometimes I feel that the wrong words are defined such as uh, here on page 222. And there's lots of examples, I just found this one. Um, it illustrates the word mangoes, but not the word turnips or mealworms, which I feel are words that people probably don't know, whereas I feel a mango is kind of an easy word and most people should be able to read it and can probably guess what it means from that word. So that was a little bit strange. But uh, anyway, it's time for you to make up your mind about whether you like this book and whether you would like to read it. I'm going to read an extract. You can listen and read along. Think about how many of the words you know, whether you would find this difficult but still fun or too difficult or too easy or just right, and uh, then you can decide whether you might want to start reading these books. So, here we go. Best class ever. History, language arts, 
geography, science. To succeed in any of them, you have to be a pretty good reader, which unfortunately, I'm not. But our school is offering a new after-school elective this winter that doesn't require any reading. Plus, the subject is one of my absolute favourite things in the world. YouTube. Because every kid in school wanted... Oh, sorry. Because, because every kid in school... Because every kid in school wanted to sign up, Mr. Dimitri decided to have a lottery. I've never won a raffle in my life, so I was shocked when Ms. McCoddle posted the lucky few students who made the cut and Matt and I were on the list. Umberto and Carly were on the waiting list, as if anyone's going to drop out of such an awesome elective. And when we find out that the teacher is Tom Ennis, a local stand-up comic with his own popular YouTube channel, Matt and I can't contain our excitement. We race down the hallway screaming until Mr. Dimitri tells us to knock it off. Tom Ellis, Tom Ennis is hilarious. I tell Matt on our way to the cafeteria. We're going to have a blast. Our, our new YouTube, uh, our new teacher's YouTube channel is called LOL Illusions. He's gotten hundreds of thousands of subscribers by being a digital magician like Zach King. Every week he uploads a new video, uh, every week he uploads a new video featuring an unbelievable trick. He's not a tradition. <laughs> He's not a magician in the traditional sense, instead he's a wizard in post-production who edits his clips with special effects to make them look like magic. In the 240 videos he's uploaded, he's turned a photo of a kitten into a real kitten in the palm of his hand, he's leapt into a speeding convertible without ever opening the door, he's jumped on his bed so hard he falls through and lands underneath it, and he's thrown a guitar into the dryer and shrank it into a ukulele. This book is mostly easy to read with some challenging words that are explained in the margins. There are nine books in the series. I would recommend it to anyone who is interested in YouTube or anyone who is starting to read chapter books in English without pictures. Mr. O approves of my life as a YouTuber. <laughs>